Hey, this is Chad, TacoExpress.com. I'm going to do the RP knot today. And uh, it's also called the Royal Polaris knot. It's the reverse Albright knot. I'm sure it's got two or three or four other names out there. But it's a really small, very strong knot. And today we're going to do 12 pound mono to 40 pound braid. And I'm going to do seven wraps. And I'm going to do seven wraps. I like to about 30 pound. And then 40 pound, I do six. 50 pound, I do five. 60 pound, I do five. And so on. And it's good up to about 80 pound. So here it is. Here's the RP knot. Okay, I got my stuff here. I got my gloves. I like the stuff with the grippy stuff. These are made by Rapala. I can grab the line and it doesn't slip. I got my chapstick. This one's Carmex. It doesn't matter. Just a great lubricant. And then I got my boomerang snips and trilene 20 pound and Power Pro 40 pound. And it's just what I had on hand. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loop. And uh, with that loop, I'm going to do a real small one, small loop, long tag in. There's, I don't know, eight inches or so there. And then I'm gonna take the braid, I'm gonna run it through the loop, and I'm gonna pinch it off. I'm gonna pull out about eight inches or so. And I'm gonna go around both lines, both the tag end of the mono or the floral and the uh, the main line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it with these fingers so that I have my pinchers here free, my index and my thumb. And then I'm going to go around eight times. I'm sorry, seven times. How many times have I tied this knot? And I've never done eight times. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it. When I pinch it, I'm going to pinch it real close to the, uh, the last wrap here. I don't want to cover a whole bunch of them with my finger. I'm just going to cover just the last one because you got to go over the top of it again. So I went this way with my wraps, and I'm going to continue that way, but I'm just going to pinch and then go over the top. And I'm going to go the same amount of times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then back through the loop. And it doesn't matter which way you go through the loop. Then I'm just going to kind of pull my, my wraps apart a little bit. I'm going to pinch real hard on the monos, on both monos, and I'm going to pinch real hard on both braids. And if I pinch hard and pull, it'll get to that point right there and it won't go anymore if I'm pinching hard. And that's just to get it kind of cinched down a little bit. I'm going to take my chapstick, nice glob of chapstick, and I'm going to rub it into it. I don't want to slide it back and forth or I'll mess up all those wraps. I'm just going to roll it into it and try and get it in between, try and Get it in all the nooks and crannies so that it slides easily. This is way better than saliva using chapstick. I have it in my box all the time. Then I'm going to hold the two monos and the one braid. And that's going to go slow. Pull it down until it's pretty tight. I'll put my gloves on. And then I'm just going to pull both main lines. I like to rest it on something. You don't have to, but I find it's a better knot. Don't jerk, jerk, jerk. Just It's just one straight pull, and it does does best. I usually wrap it around my fingers a little bit so it doesn't slide. And you're going to see the knot kind of turn a little bit and then stop. Once it stops, I go just a hair further just to make sure it's tight, and then it's good to go, and then I can start trimming. So here I'm going to pull. Moved a little bit, and that's it. This is 20 pounds, so I can't pull super hard. If I'm using 30, 40, 50, I can pull as hard as I want. I'm not going to break it. At least I'm not. Unless I eat my Wheaties that day or something. Then I'm going to trim it. I like these boomerang cutters. They trim real well. And I trim just a, a little bit. Just leave a little bit on there. You don't have to. But I don't know why I do it. I just do and then on this one, I pull the mono back onto the braid so that it comes back on itself. So that sticks out the tagline of the mono. And then what I do is I can slide down my cutters right up against the knot there and I can trim it. So I slide it up against and I cut it as close as I can. I don't want any of that sticking out. If that's sticking out when you go to cast or if you've got a heavy weight on and it comes past your thumb, 
it hurts, man. And when you, when it digs into your thumb and rips a little chunk of skin out, it doesn't feel too hot. So you want to cut that as close as you possibly can. And that's it. You're done. And it's a pretty small, very strong knot. Hope you can see that well on the camera there. And uh, that's it. Thanks for stopping by TackleExpress.com. If you have any questions, give us a call or email us. Either one's good. Thank you very much. Thank you.